is it on? Okay, yeah, um, my name is Melody. I am here, the sheriff of the Orange Grove out here. Have you noticed? I have the star on my hat. I just got that star about two weeks ago, and I can really, you know, tell the difference that people respect me just a little bit more now that I got that star. I got the call today that someone had found the perfect orange and then lost it. So I'm out here investigating to see if perhaps it's been stolen or if uh, there, there, if there's foul play involved. Uh, when I was about five, I, my mother took me to the grocery store and let me pick out any orange that I wanted. And from then on, I just knew I had to do something with oranges. Right now, I'm just kind of wandering through the grove, hoping to find this perfect orange. I've been told that it is the color orange and that it is round and um, that it, it was soft to the touch. You can see this or not, but this orange here is not a perfect orange. So that's probably not the one that I'm looking for. I take my job quite seriously, especially now that I've got this star on my hat. Yeah, people definitely look at me and think that I um, am more intelligent than before, that I must know what I'm talking about because I've got this star here. This here is what I like to see. Uh, two oranges getting along, sharing their space. They look very happy together. They're gonna make some tasty oranges. I kind of wanted a, an orange star uh, because I work with oranges, but they said that uh, they had found this one on the ground and that was the one that I could put on my hat, so. Uh, back home, my friends used to make fun of me because every Halloween I would dress up as an orange. And sometimes I would take two oranges and put them right here and pretend like I couldn't see you. But no one ever seemed to laugh at, at it. Um, this here orange, and it's round and it's also soft to the touch, kind of uh, what the description was. However, um, if you can see, is a little green and uh, that's not a perfect orange. I, I think one day it'll probably catch on just how funny this is. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, orange juice comes from oranges. When I found that out, it knocked me over. I fell down and I skinned my knee. I used to wonder why I wasn't born in orange. I finally let that dream go and realized that it was my job to be the sheriff of the orange grove and I probably couldn't do that very well if I was an orange. Uh, I think I may have just found a crucial piece of evidence. Uh, I don't want to touch it because I don't I don't know much about the law, but I, I, just in case, I found this here glove, uh, which would lead me to believe that someone picked the perfect orange and was in a hurry to get out of here and dropped a glove on accident and had to leave it behind. Now, I've never considered myself a detective. I'm a sheriff. Um, I suppose they're one and the same, but um, this is my first actual case that I've worked on. Can you uh, turn the camera off for just a second? I don't want anybody seeing me seeing me like this. This is uh, just really uh, tearing me apart, knowing that there's an orange out there. Uh, lost. Um, 
a lot of people don't know this, but um, when the uh, wise men were looking for the baby Jesus, uh, they followed a, a star. And I've got a star on my head, and I'm searching for the baby orange. And when I find it, I'm probably not going to worship it. I might but, um, hold it, rock it like a baby just for just a minute. my star see my star I just hope that when this program is broadcast that people would be on the lookout for a man or a woman I suppose that's possible to uh, wearing one glove carrying an orange uh, with the description of soft to the touch round and um, the color orange uh, he's a dangerous man or woman do you know that uh, whoever took this perfect orange uh, will uh, uh, once they get over the guilt and the shame of what they have done uh, they'll probably have a perfect orange in their stomach